Hello everyone, I'm Earl S. Bell, architectural theorist, inventor, and designer. And behind me, we have a factory. It looks vacant. Now just imagine, if this location was actually used for inventors of New York City, I think that would spark the new innovation revolution in New York City again. Similar to the one we had in the, at the turn of the century with Nikola Tesla, Weston House, Thomas Edison, and other inventors slash industrialists. Now think about it. The majority of the information or innovation taking place now in the city and the nation happens actually in companies and universities. Now what I'm thinking is that the lone inventor the independent inventor actually needs an area. Now, if you think about it, a lot of times people with ideas actually have a lot to worry about. Now, if a government agency or a non-for-profit or even a company, rather than investing or giving tons of money to companies or initiatives that don't really have an impact on the econ economy, what if in New York City, heads of business, people with funds, the municipality, the mayor, were to allocate a section or a certain amount of factory buildings for the usage of independent inventors. I think that would spark the new information slash industrial revolution. Now when I say industrial, we need another industrial revolution because all of, all of the manufacturing jobs are not in Brooklyn anymore. So what happens when a person who doesn't have a PhD in law or medicine what do they do? They have to move out the city. I think this is a crazy travesty. I think that this is a major problem of why New York City is losing its middle class. Now think, behind us, we have a factory. Independent inventors, tinkerers, hackers. When I say hacker, I don't mean computer hacker that breaks into banks. I mean hacker, someone who actually wants to find out how something, work, something works and makes it better or makes a prototype. These type of individuals need a facility. And I think buildings like the one behind me could actually be used to bring about a new New York City, Eastern Seaboard kind of innovation, unique. Now the building behind me could actually be used by actual inventors. Now just imagine, now I'm thinking about it, the, there's such thing as the Brooklyn Navy Yard, but it's all corporate. You can't enter it unless you're invited. What needs to happen is innovation needs its little brother. Innovation needs its counterpart. And that's the lone independent inventor. And I think this nation, New York City, the New York State, needs the help of the independent inventor. Because a lot of times the independent inventor is the guy who's thinking outside of the box and will allow for a quantum leap in innovation. And all I'm saying is, I think it's time for this state, for this city, to support the independent, lone inventor. I think we should do it.